Hi Aries, welcome to my channel and welcome to your love read. Let's take a deep dive on what's going on for you, okay? So uh, I'm going to pull a few cards coming through and then what we will do is uh, pull some clarifiers along the way, okay? All right, so uh, speaking of clarity, there's that Ace of Swords. <laughs> that is a really good sign for you. All right, we'll start with you, and then we'll move over to the other person, whoever is coming towards you, maybe a person of interest. Um, you know, it could be that as well. This is a very big deck, and it's uh, the cards are super thick, so I, it's, it's hard to shuffle these sometimes. Give me uh, one two and one more uh, one more for Aries guys and get ready to for your uh, full moon a super moon in Aries 28 29th depending on where you live um, but in any event uh, definitely like subscribe click the bell so you know when my message comes out specifically for you and your sign uh, so I'm gonna put up a special message uh, for you on that uh, so keep that in mind what do we get at the bottom of the deck Ooh, I get the lover's card, guys. I get the lover's card. So this is, you might be doing with the Gemini, all right? Uh, you could be doing with the Gemini, or this is actually that you might be attracted with someone, uh, you know, to someone, or there is an opportunity of some sort of attraction, okay? Um, maybe that, you know, in terms of love, um, this could be, you know, making a choice in love as well uh, after maybe something surprisingly came down. But I have some sort of victory, all right? There's some sort of victory and success coming through here. Oh, uh, some sort of uh, growth, confidence, great confidence. So I don't know if that you were in a, a situation or a connection and you focused on deep gratitude and you're focusing in on love and then all of a sudden boom something came down and maybe this was you know um i don't know something surprisingly came down and then all of a sudden you are focused on your achievement you get you get some sort of achievement coming through so this could be achievement in love or this could even be achievement at work guys you know i i, might, I have to be honest but but that's what i'm getting almost like as if something came down something needed to come down for this achievement to come through or this success and this could be a success in a connection in your work life uh, whatever that might be but um let's take a look a little bit further uh and see what comes out for you i'm going to put these all back into the deck all right so what is coming out for Aries? where you're at well, listen, I'm giving the Ten of Cups, so in some sort of way, you're feeling really, really good about yourself. So I feel that there is some sort of opportunity, uh, some sort of wish come true. This is an opportunity for uh, coming together, family, emotional fulfillment. I don't know if you've heard from, maybe that you're dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, or this is you just moving slowly in love and you've just reached you know, the point where you're emotionally very, very happy. Uh, you're in gratitude, um, and uh, it could have been that uh, maybe there was a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo motioning towards you as well. Uh, perhaps you're dealing with an earth sign. But let's pull a little bit uh, more on this. Uh, give me more on this Knight of Pentacles coming through. Uh, what do we get? What is that? Uh, a past life connection, something from the past. Uh, you're moving slowly from the past for some of you. You've made improvements. Um, nice, guys. All right. Memories are coming out. Some sort of memories of kindness. Almost like this, the, like the way that you view love. The simple little things are important to you. Um, and you're making improvements in love on how you view love. Ooh, how you view a, a connection. Um, and some sort of wish. Um, interesting. What else? Creating a strategy. Some of you are creating a strategy on what it is that you want. Moving forward, planning fire energy, which is you here. But I feel that there is having some sort of preparation. You're having some sort of foresight as to uh, uh, moving slowly towards the life that you want if you're not here. So some of you are, this is having preparation towards this foresight. Like you might know something's coming towards you, so you're kind of preparing preparing for uh, someone to come towards you. It's like you're using your intuition and you know something here. <laughs> uh, I'm not surprised, Aries. I'm not surprised. Anything more that comes out for you? Yeah, after something that, uh, yeah, well, it's talking about surprises. I'm getting the tower card that's coming through here. After some sort of surprise. And then I get the high priestess energy. See, you know. Just like I said, you know that you know something. You're following your instincts regarding any sort of surprises. You feel someone's coming towards you after something came down in the past. This is what I'm getting. Interesting. Uh, give me more from numerology for Aries in their love life this week. What do we have? Having patience. 
like this is your sacral chakra energy. Like you know something's coming, Aries. You just, oh, you feel it in some sort of way. Wow, you're having patience in the process. Uh, what else is coming through? What else do we have? Anything that wants to be shown uh, for Aries, what do we get? Whew. Cards are hard to shuffle. What's wrong with the, with the energy? Um, yeah, you're getting assistance from your spirit guides. That high priestess energy, you're getting assistance from spirit guides and being patient in what you want in love uh, and you're following your instincts. Ooh, I like this. You guys, your, your intuition's on point right now, all right? Really very much on point. Uh, any more for Aries? Um, wow, this is about, it's happening. You know what you're doing, Aries? You're creating what you want to see in love here and now. Look at this, like this lush garden. It's kind of like you're creating this joy. And this is saying that it is happening right now. You're creating heaven on earth and you're creating the vision that you want. I won't be surprised if I don't see the magician energy come through here, guys. All right. Because it's happening right now. And you know it's happening. Um, what do you need to focus uh, in on? The emperor energy, you. You're focusing in on you, getting a strong, solid foundation, guys. Oh, you are just like on it, Aries. I feel that like you're really grounded. You know where you want to go. You know what you want in love. And I feel that you're, you're setting the scene, you know, that beautiful scene, creating heaven on earth and what you want to see in your love life. Okay. And it's happening. The card says it's happening. All right. And I feel that what you need to focus in on is consistently focusing in on that. Um, anything else that comes out for you? Let's take a look. Let's pull these cards. All right. Let's take a look. Uh, what else coming through with this emperor energy? Putting an end to the past. The past is the past. That old way of thinking is just not going to work for you anymore. The old way of thinking is not going to work is what I'm getting. Okay. Yeah, you're letting go of limitations and you're recognizing the beauty of your own being and you're bossing up in that, in that throne there, whether you're, you know, regardless of gender. Wow, this is like you're be the, the true beauty of your own being. And oh, I like this for you. Uh, anything else you need to focus in on? Moderation. Yeah, go, going slow. Focusing on the moderation in matters of the heart will keep you grounded, especially during times of obstacles, all right? Uh, that's what I'm getting, all right? Uh, give me more that comes through. Uh, anything else that comes through? Uh, what's important for ears to focus in on this week in their love life? What do we get? What do we get here? Uh, flow, harmony, stability. Exactly what that emperor card represents flow, stability, getting into the flow of things, uh, taking things slow as you move forward. Um, and, uh, anything more about what you need to focus in on? Yeah, it's about, um, you know what? This is all about, a lot of you have been working really, really hard. You've been on that treadmill moving forward. And you know what this card talks about or what you need to focus in on? Believe it or not, guys, you've been working really hard and there's been some sort of success and achievement. But when you reach the, what, what is so beautiful about this super moon is that you are able to calculate, you know, everything that you've accomplished up to this point. And before you start manifesting again, it really wants you to focus in on, because it's in that area of your, of your read here, to get off the treadmill. Uh, remember that your life's work is a life's work. It's not a season. It's not a month. It's not, you know, um, uh, you know, getting everything done as much as you can in one day. It's, this is saying, take a break. All right. Take a break before this new moon that comes out in October, get near water, perhaps take, you know, take a break and get near water. All right. L look how far that you come, look out the window, take some time, perhaps with a glass of wine or your favorite beverage to look out the window and just pat yourself on the back and appreciate how far that you've come. All right. And check out your moon read that I have coming up for you too, okay? All right, so it's going to help you, you know, kind of get to that point. Um, but take a break and relish in everything that you have accomplished at this point, okay? What you is in your strength position is the clarity. You've got, you've been crowned with clarity, victory, and success. 
all right, that is coming through for you. So clarity, victory, and success, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, and you are celebrating, having some sort of celebration, uh, a reunion, this could be with someone. I get air and water, um, some sort of reunion, getting together with friends, celebrating, uh, coming together, whether it be for uh, weddings, get-togethers, uh, uh, any, any sort of celebration. And I do get the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone's rushing in, wants to celebrate with you in some sort of way. Give me another card. After some sort of disappointment in the past, um, you know, it reminds you, someone rushes in and that, that action or that rush, rushness of someone kind of coming through, I just made that word up. Um, so you know what I'm talking about. That moving forward so fast makes you, reminds you of something of the past, like, uh, rushing in, uh, you know, what does that mean? Does that trigger one night stand? Does that trigger, what does that trigger for you then? Because it's about time to shift and change. Someone could just be plainly spontaneous and really like you, okay? Um, or, you know, this is saying, you know, reflecting on what did, the, you know, what didn't work in the past and focusing on what you want and crossing the bridge. So this is about, you know, making changes. Now, in no way am I saying don't be with someone because, you know, it's bad for you or it's unhealthy or unsafe. You have to use your free will in that, guys. You know that, right? Um, but what I do get is about teamwork and collaboration coming together. There's going to be teamwork and collaboration coming through, okay? Uh, anything more what you need to focus in on? Physical activity. It, it, it's really going to help you uh, have clarity in your communication areas. It's going to have great, bring greater clarity in your connection with source. I can't stress this enough, guys, okay? That's what I get. In your near future... Uh, I have you pausing for a moment. Good. There's that time out, guys. Good. There's that time out. Pausing for a moment. All right. Especially in the house of relationships. This is a seven card. Um, you know, before you, you know, kind of recalibrate and take that faith and push forward, you're seeing what you need to change, maneuver, switch up a little bit. Uh, is this what you want to invest in? That type of thing. All right. Uh, anything more? And that's earth energy. Uh, what do we get? Uh, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Now you could be carrying this masculine energy, Aries, or this is perhaps another fire sign around you that is uh, coming forth, like putting in the effort. I think this is you taking on that entrepreneurial business visionary type, uh, you know, energy. But you could, this is about putting work. Do I want to put more work into this or what do I want to do? Uh, you don't want to be deceived, but I feel that as a visionary, um, you know, this is, yeah, you're, this is what I'm getting. You know, that take a break that we got, you're doing that. You're actually putting that into play. You're taking a break because you don't want any deceit in the mind. So you're going slow so you can see things a lot more clearly. All right. And then you have a greater vision of moving forward. And then you're, as you boss up and move forward. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, I like this for you. Uh, anything else? What do we get? Yep. You're creating change. You're, you're overcoming any sort of obstacles in a situation and you're stopping for a moment. Might have to do change in terms of a love partnership, okay? You're changing things up in a love partnership, okay? Um, and, uh, it, and this is uh, really focusing in on that. What is your suggested approach? Resurrection. There could be someone around you. You're either resuscitating new energy in love and, and now have this uh, new way of, that you're going about in love and you feel resurrected in some sort of way like your energy feels really good right um, you know or this is a resurrection with a connection uh, that is around you in some sort of way so uh, this is making a decision this is like a wake-up call to your purpose for some of you all right you're creating a change and in your purpose there's some sort of wake-up call suggested approach uh, what else do we get Yep, is you've been rejuvenated. You're going to let go of the Ten of Wands. This is the past. You're letting go of uh, all of the, uh, uh, the stress and the exhaustion, you know, and carrying heavy responsibilities. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that, uh, guys. Um, what, what's Spirit's advice in this particular area? Let's just see what comes out. What's so interesting is that the cards, they want to, like, fall all over the place. I don't know if it feels like that with your energy. But I think that it's about kind of like, okay, just let it go. Just let it do its thing. <laughs> let it do its thing, okay? Uh, anything more? What do we got? Yeah, this is like uh, getting rid. You're separating yourself from, you know, the longing for someone. And you're balancing out karma. Justice is served. Justice is served. You're balancing things out. You're separating yourself from the responsibilities that aren't yours. That's your suggested approach. 
What you need to know, Queen of Cups, that this is focusing in on um, you know the value of your emotions, you know your emotions are special, you know that your intuitiveness is on par right now. And in terms of your emotions, you're listening to your emotions relating to a connection because there might be change that needs to take in, to take in play, you know, to come into play. It's like you don't want to keep investing into something that's not being uh, somewhat reciprocated because that leads to resentment. And staying in that makes it worse, you know. So uh, this is saying is that you're looking, uh, what you need to know is to look at your emotions. Your emotions have something to tell you here, okay. Um, and what comes through in what it is that you, uh, um, what, what it is that you, uh, what in this, what you need, what you need to know. I almost want to say, what is it you need to know? What is it you need to know? What did we get? Oh, you've had a lesson. You've had a teaching moment already in, in how to invest your emotions, uh, into a connection in a situation, at least in terms of balancing that out, uh, not over, you know, uh, you know, in, in you know, giving, and not under giving, you're just kind of reciprocating uh, what you get from someone else, the investment someone else makes. What do I get? Straightforwardness. You're ready to take a clear approach and be uh, clear in your communication. But it was only after you took a time out and looked at your emotions, okay? Uh, anything more that comes through? Uh, I get a message coming through. This could be you delivering a message to someone. Uh, you know, this is your fire energy, or you've got a fire energy individual coming through. A little bit of a younger energy, um, for a new beginning. This is a new beginning, a brand new beginning. Maybe you are delivering a message of a brand new beginning that's coming through. Interesting. Uh, give me anything more. Uh, what is this new in, in uh, anything more wants to be said? Things move so fast. I didn't know how to trust my feeling for you. Maybe that was you just looking, Hey, I got to see what my emotions are feeling here in this connection. Okay. Uh, so I can, uh, you know, have, have uh, you know, you know, create healthier boundaries and create, you know, exactly, you know, express how I feel because I don't know how I feel and I, I can't say something if I don't know how I feel, you know, but there's a new beginning here. All right. What else? No matter what happens, my heart will always belong to you. Ooh, that's what I get on, on your side. Now for this other person, what do we get that might be on your mind that might be coming towards Aries? Uh, that, you know, and this could even be a, a friend or family member around you, uh, you know, as well. You know what that is for you. Queen of Wands, that's you. Look at King of Wands and Queen of Wands. I've got a divine counterpart here. Uh, you are a divine connection, a divine couple. Uh, but I do get, they could be just thinking of you right now, okay, uh, is what I get. Uh, anything more? Uh, yeah, yeah, well, they could, uh, they, this is about changing. A changing of perception is necessary to work with you. A change is going to be necessary for them to come towards you, and you and and, and you are that straightforwardness and perhaps communication is 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 letting this person know. What else? Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming towards you. Adventure, uh, you know, uh, compassion, a lot of passion coming through. This person wants to come towards you. They're changing things up, coming towards you. I still feel they have fire in their chart. And look at I get the lovers card coming through Gemini energy. So it, the lovers card, someone's coming towards you in love. They're changing something up. Gemini energy, uh, fire energy, uh, air coming through here. A lot of air, fire. Um, yeah, that's coming through here. Ooh, you got someone coming right towards you. It's just like really direct. All right. Anything more? Let's take a look. A rebirth. Wow, a new beginning for this person. New communication to put something on solid ground in, in uh, a connection, in partnerships, one-on-one -on -one connections. That reduces to a seven. So there's going to be communication coming towards, guys. Wow. What is it that this person needs to focus in on? The completion. Putting the completion of the past and going more for this new energy, towards the new energy here, Aries. Wow. Completion, the world card, a successful completion too. And in a karmic cycle on both sides, this person might be, again, be a, a king of pentacles. They might be a business owner or they could be, maybe it was a lot more controlling, uh, but they're putting an end to that. But I do feel that they're, they're, they're needing to focus in on bossing up and what else and having inner strength, not trying to control others, but having this Leo energy of inner strength. Now, you or they might have Leo in their chart, but they're developing and making a change with the eight card to bring in balance, to have inner strength in the situation to be able to come forward. Interesting. Anything else they need to focus in on? Spirituality. Their connection with source is going to be very, very key. 
Um, especially during obstacles that they're having in this connection or in their life. Yeah, they're being asked to take the leap. They're being asked to go first. They're being asked, perhaps even during this full moon, guys, they're being asked to take the leap and go first to come towards you. Wow. It's saying if they do, that the universe is going to catch them. Ooh, I like this. And what is, as we close out, what is in their uh, strength position and what is coming out in the near future, okay? Uh, anything more? They want to balance things out, guys. They want to persevere. It's in their strength position. And I feel that they want to get out of the old way of thinking and balance things out with equal give and take and a connection. And like I said, maybe you were giving uh, you know, more than this other person was and you kind of stepped away. Um, yeah, they, uh, this is just double confirmation. Uh, temperance energy, the Sagittarius, they want to balance things out with you. They want to balance things out, all right? Um, Sagittarius energy, especially from an emotional aspect, all right? What do I get? There's no one else thinking about you all day. And what else do I get? Are you, the universe is fighting for our souls to be together. So I'm going to take this to an extended, guys. I'll find out next steps with timing around that. I'll find out what you hope the next steps to be. I'm going to do uh, messages from both sides. Uh, potential outcome, uh, you know, um, you know and, and oracle advice. But I also am going to pull what makes this connection work this week and how to uphold that with spirits advice. Uh, and we will find out if there's anything they haven't told you, what you haven't told them, and what they want most long-term with you and, and vice versa. So if you're interested, guys, click the link in the description box below. And uh, note your comments, like, and subscribe, guys, if this resonates with you. And until next time, namaste.